Okay, do I have any students who have figured out how to make this line, um, number line work to be able to plot those numbers onto it? So you counted it by hundreds to get to 5,000, and by counting it by hundreds, what do you mean? What did you actually do to the number line? So you put some lines in the middle of the number line. If I have 4,000 to 5,000, what's halfway in between? Which hundreds is going to be halfway in between 4,000 and 5,000? I want you guys to think about that for a second. She says she counted by hundreds, so 4,100, 4,200, 4,300. Which hundreds is going to be halfway between 4,000 and 5,000? 4,500. So because that's halfway, I'm going to do a visual kind of halfway. 4,500. Okay. And then I have to get 100, 200, 300, and 400 on this side, and then some more on that side. So I need how many more lines on this side? Four, right? 100, 200, 300, 400. So I need four more. So I'm going to kind of try to space those out, what I think looks even, close enough. So we'll go there in a second. So between 500 and 5,000, 4, 4,500 and 5,000, I need 600, 700, 800, 900. So how many more lines do I need? Four. So I'm going to do the same thing. Two, three, four. Okay. Now it's a little easier to plot my my dots up here or my um, points up here. So 4,300. I'm going to count over 300. One, two, 300. So there's that one. I'm just drawing a line. 4,700. I know this is five. So I'm going to say six, seven. That's that one. And then the 4,500 we've already marked. So that's that one. Okay. During May 2008, the Mount Rushmore National Monument in South Dakota welcomed. All right, read this one with me. 138,202 visitors. A website reported that about 100,000 people visited the park during that month. Was the estimate reasonable? Okay, so this is how many actually visited. And a website on the internet had said there was about a thousand visitors. So they want to know a if a hundred thousand visitors. They're, they want to know if a hundred thousand visitors sounds fair. Like, is that a close estimate of how many people were there? Okay, so let's go through the skills that it's telling us to work on here. Underline what you're asked to find. I want you to look back in the question. What is it asking you to find? What is the question that they're asking? And here the question is, was the estimate reasonable? Okay, so we're going to do some rounding. We're going to do some rounding, and your answer is not going to be the number. It's going to be yes or no. It was or was not reasonable. Okay, so circle the information we're going to use. Well, I see some numbers in there. Should I just circle all the numbers? Okay, so let's go back to what I'm talking about here. First of all, 2008, is that important? No. No. This number is not necessary. Is 138,202 necessary? Yes. Yes, that's important. Was there any other information that was important to use in here? Monique. 100,000. 100,000. So just because that number is not written in numbers does not mean it's not important in this, um, in this math problem. So now we have what the question is and what we're going to use. Let's talk about one of our words we're going to see here. An estimate tells you about how many. So I can say I have about 20 kids in my class, or I have about 30 kids in my class. It's not exactly, okay, it, it doesn't tell me exactly, it tells me about how many. So an estimate tells you about how many or how much. It's close to the exact amount, but not necessarily the exact amount. It, could, it can be, or, it, or it's just close. So to find an estimate, you need to round. You round to find out an estimate. And so that's what we're going to practice today. So let's start with, to, we're going to round this number. It's saying 100,000. So I know that that's one of, my, one of my things that I'm trying to round to is the 100,000th place. So I'm going to underline the 100,000th place, because that's what I'm rounding to. So when I'm rounding, I have to ask myself, is it going to stay at 
What's this number? Okay. Is it going to stay at 100,000? What is the next 100,000 that it could round up to? 200,000. So when you're rounding numbers, and you guys are used to rounding lower numbers, you're trying to decide, is it going to stay at the, the 100,000, because it's a 100,000, or is it going to go up to the next 100,000th place, which is 200,000? So in order to do that, on this one, we have a number line. And you see 100,000, you see 200,000, and you see the halfway in between. If you have the number 10, what's half of 10? Five. What's half of 100? 50. 50. 50. It's half of 1,000? 500. 500. Okay? So it's kind of that thing. So there's usually a 5 involved at the beginning of a, of a half. So going back to here. So we have the halfway point is the 500. I mean, it's the 50,000. And then we're going to plot one... And we're going to plot 138,202. So this is 130,000. 100,000, 110, 120, 130. So this mark right here is 130,000. We know that it's about 138,000 is about there. We don't have to plot it perfectly. It's just an estimate. Now you have to ask yourself, looking at this number line, I want everybody looking at my number line. Is this point closer to this number or is it closer to this number? Just looking at it spatially, raise your hand when you know. It's 100,000. So it's closer to this. If you're not sure, you can look at the fact that this is the, this is the halfway point and it hasn't even gotten halfway there. So it has to be closer to this one. If it gets to the halfway point, then it, it might fall on this side. But it hasn't even reached the halfway point yet. So, 138,202 is closer to 100,000 than it is to 200,000. Go ahead and write that in. Another way to use place value. Mount Rushmore is located, let's read this number together. 5,700.5 feet above sea level. About how high is Mount Rushmore above sea level? To, to the nearest thousand feet. So, first of all, what is the question asking us? What are they asking us? About how, and I'm going to circle about how high, or underline about, because the about tells us I'm going to round or estimate, right? I'm going to round to estimate about how high. How high it is above sea level, and then it does tell me to the nearest thousand feet. So when I look at my number, I'm going to underline the thousands because I want to remind myself I want to round to the nearest thousand feet. So on the low end, what is the, what is the thousand that's on the low end that I might be rounding to? That would be the low end because that's what's there already, 5,000. That's the value of that. Um, Kaylee, what's my high end? 6,000. Look at the next digit because the next digit is what we use to decide which one it's going to be closest to. What did I say was the halfway point? What digit is the halfway point? Five, right? Five is the halfway point. Is that seven on the right side of the halfway point or on the left side of the halfway point? I want you to think about it. If I have my number line, is that seven going to be on the right side, closer to the bigger number, or it's going to be on the left side, closer to the smaller number? What do you think, Vivian? Right. It's going to be on the right side, so it's going to be closer to the larger number. So it is about 6,000 feet. Okay, what number is halfway between 70,000 and 80,000? Now, we know that this is a 10,000, and this is a 10,000, right? Here's the 70,000, the next one is 80,000, the next one's going to be what? 70, 80, 90,000. The one before 70,000 is 60,000. So we know that we're working with 10,000's place here. 
So if I'm looking at the halfway, I'm going to look at the next digit, the thousands place. I have to decide what's halfway using the thousands. And what digit did I tell you is the halfway? Five. Five. The five is the halfway point. So I know that this, this zero right here, to make it the halfway, I have to make that 5,000. Is it going to be 75,000 or 85,000? 75,000. 75, so that's the halfway point. Now we have 75,000 rounded to the nearest 10,000. The problem is that we're at the halfway point. Is it closer to the higher number or closer to the lower number? Higher. Is it really? It's the halfway. It's midway, so it's not closer to either. However, we have a universal rule that if it's exactly at the halfway point, we round it up. Right. So, and that's something that you probably learned in second or third grade. It's kind of a universal rule. If it hits the halfway point, you automatically round it up. Because it's halfway, it's not closer to either. So, round it to the nearest 10,000. It's going to round up to the 80,000 by our, our rules. Let's round these to the place value that's underlined. So, I have 64,999. I'm going to round to the 6,000 place. I mean, the 60,000. Sorry. I'm going around to the 10,000th place because this is the 10,000th place. So on the low end, it's going to be what? What's the low end it could be? What do you think, Bella? 6,000 or 60,000? 60,000. And what is the high end then? What's the next thousands after that? 70,000. Okay. So in order to decide, I have to look at the next digit. What is the next digit? Four. No, four. It's in the one thousandth place, you're right, but it's a four. Is four on the left side or the right side? The left. It's before five, isn't it? So it's before the five, so we round, it's closer to this side. Okay, let's look at the next one. It's saying 301,587. It wants us to round to which place value? Listen to my question, place value. Which place value are we rounding to, Faye? The thousands. The thousands, right? So the low end, the thousand is going to be what, Faye? Two. Oh, 2,000 is the high end, right? And the low end is? 1,000. But do you notice that I'm, I'm missing something? What am I missing? What about the 30? The 300,000 there? Does that matter in my number? Yes. It does. It matters. So I have to make sure I include it. Even though I'm rounding to the nearest 1,000, I still have to include the 300 part. The 300,000 part. So now the next thing I'm going to do is look at the digit next to it, which is a 5. Does the five tell us to round up or or to go down? Round up. round up. So this is my number that I'm rounding to. Eight hundred and fifty thousand. On my low end, I'm going to have what, Santina? Eight hundred thousand. On the high end, I'm going to have what, Kira? My low is eight hundred, so then my high is going to be nine hundred thousand. Okay. I'm going to look at the digit next to the 8, and it's a 5. 5, five tells us it's what point? Round up. Not round up, but it tells us what point is it? <coughs> halfway point. It's the halfway point. And once we hit the halfway, we round up. Look at the next one. We have, I know, it's okay. We have, oh, let's look at the 0. So we're rounding to the thousands place again. So it could either be zero in the thousands place, or it can be what? One, One in the thousands place. Do I need to add anything else to these numbers? No. What about my 10,000 I have right here? Oh, you add I got to make sure that's there. Looking at the eight, the 
eight tells me to go up. 